What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out Tesla vs. Lovecraft. One of those games that I can't even say the title of it without giggling a little bit. Uh, if you ever wanted to pilot a giant electrical mech while fighting eldritch monsters, this might be the game for you. And so if you've ever played like the, uh, God, the Evil Dead game on PlayStation or Gauntlet or anything like that, this game is very, very similar. The rough storyline synopsis is that uh, H.P. Lovecraft ruins one of Tesla's lectures by walking up on stage and telling him he's messing around with powers he can't comprehend, and so they become enemies. H.P. Uh, Lovecraft dedicates his life to creating eldritch monsters and ruining Nikola Tesla, and so Tesla builds giant battle mechs, as most people would do. You know, if somebody tries to come after you with eldritch monsters, I guess the only solution here is to go full-on battle tech. Uh, so let's go ahead and play the game. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it. Let's have a little bit of fun. Fire! 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 The lab is burning! I have to get out! Dark figures are running away from the lab with stolen equipment. They must be behind this. They must be stopped. Alright, let's do this thing. So if you ever want an opportunity to play a game where Nikola Tesla runs around with a 1911 and just gats on fools all day long, uh, this is probably going to be the title for you. Uh, we've collected a shotgun right here, and there's a whole bunch of deep ones over on this side. That's right, Eldritch Monsters, get dealt with. I will send you back to the depths from whence you came. Tesla's backpack is over here. That now means that we can teleport, and that is the first level. This game is very rapid fire. It's a game that you can play quickly if you only got a couple of minutes. I think people will like it. I mean, the premise for the game is not super solid. But at the same time, I've played it a little bit before doing this episode, and the shooting mechanics were good enough. And you guys know that I like stuff like uh, Smash TV is one of my favorite games of all time. That being said, the game is pretty solid at kind of reinvoking that vibe that Smash TV gave off. Ooh, we got another shotgun over here. So we powered up a crystal, which will allow us to use fire ammo, which, in case you didn't know, uh, Tesla apparently invented incendiary ammunition. We've got Tesla's watch right here. That's going to allow us to collect charges. I think in the next level so that we can start using uh, Tesla's super weapons. He's got like a devastating like Kamehameha thing he does. He's got like a ground stomp electrical attack. It gets more and more crazy. Ooh, Nikola Tesla with a Thompson. So there it is right there. We've gotten five charges of the Nova ability. We can use that just like so to zap our enemies and get them on out of the way. Let's keep on blasting away because these bad guys have purple blood and that means that it's perfectly okay to murder them. Just a quick tip in life, if you ever come across a time where your enemies have purple blood, don't worry too much about lending them to the slaughter. It's okay. It's allowed. I can get some incendiary bullets over here. I'm going to go do that. i got to destroy this Cthulhu statue too. So let's go ahead and silence all that chanting and all that weird shit that like Cthulhu's followers like to get up to. Although there are all kinds of, there are tons of things in H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. There's like yog so thoth um... There's a bunch of them. There's the Yellow King. I mean, there's a whole bunch of random stuff in there that I assume they're going to throw at you inside of this game. Unless they just want to stick with the Cthulhu line. A submachine gun of highest quality. Dude, I love Thompson's. Thompson's are my favorite gun probably of all time, and I've never gotten a chance to fire one. So here's the world map. Uh, we can choose to be on the Aether Plane. We can be on the Eldritch Plane, or we can be on the Normal Plane. And each one is like a separate level. You go through, you defeat a boss. So we'll start out on the Normal Plane. Uh, there's a cult in the forest. We are currently on the Gardens of Providence. Let's do this thing. The Gardens of Providence. Doesn't look too bad right now, although I do sense the stink of chaos. Let's go ahead and grab our shotgun over on this side. Sorry, I got a hiccup that decided it wanted to mess with us. Uh, the meter shows level progress. Okay. That's good to know. Let me see if I... Yeah, give me the Tommy gun. I don't feel like the dub is getting it done over here. The shooting mechanics in the game are done in a satisfying fashion. I think I'd like the bullets to move a tiny bit faster. Um, I don't know how that would affect the overall game balance. Oh, we gained a level. I didn't even realize there was going to be RPG mechanics. So we can get Reaper bullets or we can get dodging. Dude, we go with damage always. Because you know they're going to throw some kind of like tank creature at us pretty soon. I do like the sense of impact and I do like the blood and gore when you hit the enemies. That feels really solid. Uh, it seems like it's put together reasonably well. A lot of things can undermine a shooter game. And as you might have assumed, uh, bad shooting mechanics can be one of those major things. It is after all... Oh, there's a nuke over here. Whoa! 
Tesla's mega nukes. Dude, we just dropped bombs on your moms. That was the stuff right there. Yeah, just keep shooting. We don't have any special... Uh-oh. Let me teleport away here. I almost got myself... Ooh, an XP doubler. Hell yeah. I love double XP. Let me get it, though. Yup. I wonder if we keep our levels in between the various stages. Or if at some point... We're going to reset at the beginning of each level. I can see it being... Ooh, a mech piece. What does the mech piece do? Also, what is this crate over here? Hold on, there was a crate over there and I didn't get to pick it up. Tesla's crate! No! Now his great research will never be finished. Ooh, we found a mech piece. We found kind of the booby and the groin region. The fun parts. We found the fun bits of the mech. We've got the x-ray blade. A short-range, concentrated x-ray beam that cuts through anything. And then we've got that perk right there. Okay. We'll see if everything stays after this. We've got Wayland Manor. Let's go. Uh, if you ever played Red State or Red Nation, I forget what the name of the game was, but uh, it's been a long time since that indie title came out. But there was another game similar to this, but with zombies, where they just hit you with endless waves, and the goal was to see how far you could make it. Um, I think Zombie Shooter also had a game mode like that. It looks like there's something over here that I can have. Ooh, an x-ray blade. Ooh, that was the stuff right there. Yup. Keep them guessing. I wonder how I get myself more... Uh-oh. Let's take uh, extra weapon damage because I want them to go down from one shotgun blast. I would take reload speed too. That would work for me. Looks like we've got a decent amount of them back on over here. Uh, the watch is right there. I think that just refills our charges on our special weapon. So yeah, a little bit more x-ray blade right there. But the x-ray blade is good enough to where I'm just going to run through and mess stuff up with it. Sounds good to me. We haven't taken like any damage so far, so... And I think, like what I was saying previously, shooter games can be undermined by a lot of different mechanics. Unsatisfying shooting, uh, not enough enemies so that the player feels properly threatened. Uh, it's one of the ways that you find games like Robotron and whatnot succeeded very well, is because you feel stressed like that entire game. Ooh, let's take movement speed. Yeah, it resets your level at the beginning of every single stage, but that's okay, because I think, oh, we got a shield too. Oh, wow, okay, so like nothing can hurt us right now. We made a Tesla shield, nice. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and sword them and I, I feel like the density of enemies is good right here A lot of developers are afraid to give you weapons that are like overpowered and like decimate half the screen And I'm a big fan of games like once again smash TV uh, Things of that nature that actually give you weapons capable of leveling like half the screen But they compensate for that by making there just be so many enemies that you're constantly overwhelmed That's my favorite type of top-down shooter arena game and so uh, I'm glad to see that the game's doing all right in that regard. Oh, Cthulhu statue. Let's go ahead and wipe that thing on out. There's a clock over here. Oh, it's a time warp. It slows the game down. Okay, nice. So that's down right there. Uh, we got a healing thing right there. Um, I do think that a lot of people are going to be like, yo, this game's like simplistic and it doesn't have a whole lot going on for it. But in all honesty, this game is back to basics. And that's what I like about it. It kind of harkens back to a time. Oh, we got another Tesla mech piece too. A uh, bullet sharpening. 50% chance for your bullets to go through your opponents. Oh, nice. Um, I think there was something magical about classic gaming back on the Atari, back on the Nintendo, back on the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo, in that games were mostly focused on being fun back then. Um, there were gimmicks, and there were developers trying to do weird things, but at the same time, they focused on just games being fun to play a lot of the time. And maybe that's just nostalgia clouding up my memory, because there were... A lot of really shitty games back then. I can recall going to Toys R Us or Funko Land or whatever. Uh oh, there's bigger monsters here. Oh, they do little chargey attacks too. Well, that'll be fun to deal with. I need to get some kind of firearm. There's a revolver over here. Uh, that's gonna have to. Oh, it's a penetrating gun. Okay, that works. I was gonna say I need something that's able to kill multiple enemies at the same time. If I can get these dudes into a pipeline, like right where we're at. No, I've been frogged on. I said, what, you want to get froggish, homie? And he was like, yup, in a heartbeat. We spark beef willingly. I'm just going to keep on shooting and hoping for the best. Teleport through them. We've got a level up right there. Uh, let's go with bullet sharpening, although we're using the revolver. We also get another perk, 30% more power-ups. Yeah, let's do that. I like power-ups. Tommy gun right there. That's my dude, especially since our other gun already had piercing built into it. Uh, I think it's a really good idea to get a gun that does not have piercing built into it so that we're actually getting the full usage of our perks along with all the side stuff as well. Wow, we just got bapped on. That's not good. I need some kind of like Tesla power. What do we have going on? So there's a nuke over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that. That'll wipe out a decent amount of them. And so a bonus power-up has been given for that multi-kill. 
That's good. Uh, it's another nuke. That was probably a waste. But that's alright. I like machine guns, and so I'm going to stick with my machine gun for right now. We've taken a little bit of damage, but putting something on the Cthulhu statue is a really good plan before we go much further. However, we have a, we've got a lot of associated fishmen trying to take us out at the moment. And I'm glad to see that the game escalates, too. The first couple levels are really just to allow... Oh, we got an extra speed power-up, too. The first couple levels are really just to, get to, the, get, to allow the player to get acclimated and figure out what's going on. And I'm glad they're starting to throw the book at us. Oh, we got another part. Nice. So the Tesla Mech, a war pigeon, is a powerful machine of war. Besides its many guns, it's also equipped with powerful thrusters that can be used for travel as well as weapons. Oh... I want to use a battle mech that was made by Nikola Tesla. Uh, let's do the enchanted wood. How enchanted is it? Oh, shit. Nice. Yup, waste them. Oh, we got so many bullets for all of you. I've got no reason to stop. I can't stop. I won't stop. Oh, my mech runs out. No. Assemble six parts to activate them. Well, now I'm just disappointed, though. Uh, faster shooting. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, it looks like there's another mech piece of... Oh, so I've got to run around and actually, like, assemble the mech in order to survive this mission. So fighting with enemies is probably not something we want to focus on very heavily. Instead, we more than likely just want to run around and just start busting on stuff while looking for all the little mech pieces we need to actually survive the wave. I think that's the final piece right there. Is it? Uh, no, it was not. So we got one more piece we got to get hands on with. There we go. The mech is all ready to go. Yup, let's transform. Let's do this thing. Yeah, buddy. That is how we do it. XP doubler. Yup. Just keep bulldozing them. Uh, we've also got a special power over here. It's the Nova. I will take the Nova. Uh, that would actually be really helpful for getting some of these dudes up off me. I need that right there. Uh, we got another level up for level four. I'm going to take uh, penetrating bullets. And then I'm going to take extra movement speed as well. Ooh, that feels much better. We got an XP doubler right there. I don't know if it was worth the loss in HP that we just took. But I did it anyways because I'm a sav like that and the enemy don't scare me. They don't scare... Okay, they kind of scare me a little bit. I'm going to hit them with the Nova. We've got a few more pieces of mech over here, but they want me to flip around and go the opposite direction in order to get the next one. we got a statue on that side that's causing all kinds of problems. Let's hopefully... Oh, no. XP doubler, and the mech is ready. Let's go. Ooh. Purple blood spray everywhere. Get rid of that statue. There's a perk for extra health right there. I don't know how many statues we're going to have to kill, but I would assume it's going to be a fair few. When the mech goes down, it looks like it detonates and kills everything around it, so that's good to know. Actually works as like a hand grenade. How many more enemies we got going on? Like, are they going to continue to be a pain in my booty hole, or is everything going to be all right? Uh, my guess is that the answer to that question is yes, they are going to continue to be a pain in my booty hole. If I can get rid of the smaller guys... Oh, yeah, there's another statue right there. Nuke them! Oof. We almost lost it right there. Oh, if I could have got the XP doubler before I nuked them. Oh, that would have been so awesome. We got a time warp on that side. I'm going to use this opportunity to teleport over to here. How do I tell how much warp I have? Because sometimes it'll let me warp three times. Ah, the little the little chevrons next to my character. Okay. Keep firing. Get the mech ready to go for the next wave because I don't think they're going to let me off the hook just yet. Keep firing, Tesla. Oh, the level is done. Oh, and then he put on the battle suit just to leave. See, that's the important part. It's if you exit with a plum. That's when people start to respect you. That's why, uh, Spawn of Dagon. Okay, and so we've got Survival Mode in the Endless Mode. Okay, uh, we got some perks used right there. We didn't really unlock anything new, but we've got Downtown Streets ready to go. Multi-kills are rewarded with extra power. Oh, we spawned in in a mech this time around. These dudes just chilling. Oh, there's spiders. Spooky spiders. Anybody want to mess around with them spooky spiders? Uh, the mech's about to go. So let's get into close range with the enemy, and hopefully I can find some kind of upgraded weapon. This is like garbage doo-doo class weaponry, and I don't like it. Uh, we got a med kit over there that we can fall back to in case this doesn't go the way that we wanted. Oof, I gotta get away. Something is going drastically wrong right now. There's a spider made out of skulls trying to hurt me. We've got a mech piece right there. I think that the levels 
are pretty unique as well. They did a good job at making the levels look slightly different from one another. A little bit more feedback when the player gets hit would be nice, aside from just one little flash. Um, I do like the fact that they gave us a little bit of an iframe right there, though, when you get hit, so that you don't get, like, chain knocked out instantly. A lot of games mess that up. And it's never fun to instantly die when you get surrounded, especially if a health meter is included in the game. Like, if you're just going to get instantly one-shotted, that always makes me question, like, why even have the health meter then? Um, that would be the question of the day for Splatty. Oof, there are a lot of these dudes. Alright, well, let's see if we can work our way down the street for a second. It looks like we made it. Is there any kind of pickup over here? Uh, there's a thing right there. Ah, it gave me the Nova. Good. I would love to have the Nova. I do not want the revolver. The revolver, the revolver can get dealt with. I don't want that at all. Kill a couple more spiders over here. There's a hundred enemies on this screen right now. That's actually fairly impressive. I didn't realize there was going to be that many of them. Well, keep shooting until they all go away. How about that? Oh, no. There's a health kit over there. I will take that. He just dropped a heal pack, too. It looks like the heal packs don't give full health. Uh, they just give partial. I look like I'm trying to fight down this way towards mech pieces. But, ooh, I got fire bullets. That's good. I like fire incendiaries. Uh, stay down this way. We've got another mech part right there. I'm thinking the mech parts are probably going to be one of the only ways we get through this in one piece. Uh, let me get my perks going. Weapon damage. Yes, please. Uh, we can get fire rate as well and then let's go with weapon damage again i just want things to hurt because we got a lot of big tanky enemies around and i think the best way to get rid of them is going to be by hurting them right back it looks like we've got them all in a corridor at the moment that's exactly where i want to have them trapped tesla do your thing man he was a scientist and now he's a war ear you got to add the extra ear onto the end i forgot it's early in the morning right now um oh the level's done we didn't even have to summon the mech on that one. We just mashed our way through. So for the spawn of Dagon, we've gotten a little bit better at killing them. So we got 10% damage right there. I do like how there's a little bit of persistence in between the missions. That's pretty cool. Um, what is this? The evacuate or the excavation site. Okay. Oh, they are on me. Man, they rushed me quick. And we're playing around. What's up, spiders? How you doing? Oh, yeah. I can do like a chargey attack. See if I can get rid of a few of you before the mech goes out. We got explosives right there. That's going to open up a place for us to go and avoid getting whooped on. I'm going to try and open the level up first. Oh, no. I don't know what happened right there, but I think something bad almost happened. I've got three teleports, and I'm going to have to use all three of them. It's the only way we're getting through this. I'm going to give them a little race to the gate over here. Uh, we are going to have to reload at the wrong moment. I know it. Oh, fire bullets, please preserve. There we go. Fire bullets, getting it done. Grab that mech piece. Uh, try to carve my way through here. Trying to keep my teleports in reserve for when things really get nasty. XP doubler on that side. Uh, do I have any... I don't think I have any gadgets right now. Although there's one right there. There we go. That'll solve a whole bunch of problems. Perfect. Keep them up off of me. Uh, let me get the X... Yeah, there it is. Uh, hit him with the nuke as well. Dude, it's so satisfying blowing shit up. Uh, let's go with weapon damage. Let's go with health. Let's go with teleport cooldown. And I don't really... I'm not that worried about health just because it doesn't seem to come up very rapidly. Uh, do I have any more mech pieces? There's something over there. What is that? That's a Nova. I don't really want the Nova. Actually, I do want the Nova, but I want to use up the charges on what I have first. I will mash our way through there. Can I go through that wall right there? I can't. That's a time slow right there, and that would actually be pretty helpful considering... Oh, no. Uh, that statue being down there is a problem. However, we do have access to a mech suit, so maybe we'll go full-on fire bullets on this thing. Sit it on down real fast for the cause. Dude, we flatlined everything on the map. We are the best. There's a perk for dodging right there. We got that for free after knocking out the statue. I'm going to keep the time warp out of my way. Uh, we do need a little bit of health, so I guess I'll take that. I don't know if there's going to be more statues. Or are we, like, done here? I was going to say, it kind of felt like we unleashed an ass whooping right there. Uh, spider ghouls. Spider ghouls, spider ghoul. In your trash can, acting fools. Uh, we've got deep ones and aether discs. So we've got a new ability right there where we can shoot kind of like a Krillin-esque destructo disc. Sounds good to me, Parks and Rec. Let's see what Leslie Nope's got waiting for us over here. In we go. 
Oh, we've got like little, what are those right there? They're like little crab monsters? Crab monster. Oh, they shoot projectiles. Okay, so shit just got real. Uh, projectile firing enemies are always a problem. Um, there's a mech piece. And then there's a mech piece. There's not any weapons around, which is bad. There's a shotgun over here, so maybe I'll just kind of whittle through on that side. Just put bullets downfield for a second so we can figure out how to carve a hole in all this. Holy bejeebus. You do have to pretty selectively prepare. There's Aether Disc right there. Okay, so it bounces around like the entire level. I'm not as big of a fan of that one as I am the X-Ray Blade and some of the other stuff, but I think it'll just have to do... You know, it feels like we're not killing anything when I shoot the shotgun, but actually, on further review, I'm watching the number up top. Yeah, just kind of carve through them if you can. Just make a gap in any direction. Get some more Ether Disc right there. All right, and that's going to be the last of it. I don't know if they're going to give me any better weapons this time. I don't see we're at level something. We have three perks. So let's go with movement speed to stay away from enemies. We'll go with fire rate, and then we will go with weapon damage. That looks good. Oop, I stopped because I was coming out of the perk menu. Arr, shoot him. There's another little mech piece right there. Normally I don't... Oh, there's fire bullets over here? Well, hell. I might as well. I mean, this is the natural progression of things. You've got a shotgun. You load it with bullets full of fire. You might as well. We've also unlocked some kind of thing down there that I guess is going to... Oh, there's a statue down here. Okay. So unless I get rid of that, we're going to... We're going to be a little bit stuck. Are there any mech pieces around? I think I might need the firepower in order to make this happen. We got Aether Disc right there. Tommy Gun right there. X-Ray Blade. Perfect. Uh, X-Ray Blade is what we needed to actually get this finished off. The mech is ready. So we... I'm going to pull that on in. I think I basically wiped everything. That might be the level. Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like we're getting a little thin on enemies right now. But that might be it. Plus 20% damage going out to deep ones, which is pretty sweet. That's what they get for having filthy little webby sticky fingers. The Rapid Tesla Gun, the first person to fully weaponize electromagnetism. This weapon belches out plasma bolts at a very rapid rate. Well, that is my favorite rate to belch. So let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully we can pick up that gun in the next mission. So we got some Aether Disc right there. Got some spiders coming in from that way. I'm going to keep firing like so. And I can't use special Tesla abilities while I'm inside of there, I don't think. So instead, we'll pick up Aether Disc from right there. We'll put a couple of those in that direction. Looks like we have a shotgun over here. It's better than the pistol. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain about something that is an obvious boon from the Dark Gods, although one might consider, why are there so many weapons just laying around wherever it is that we are right now? It says we're, ooh, the Rapid Tesla Gun. Hell yeah, it's the Plasma Thrower from Doom. Awesome! Let's do it. That's my favorite gun in Doom. I love the Plasma Thrower. The Plasma Thrower and the Minigun, those are my two favorite weapons in Doom. We'll go ahead and nuke these guys, although I feel like it would have been a better idea to maybe wait until they were kind of more centralized around me, but I suppose you can't always win. Work for the mech pieces here. They keep adding new weapons and mechanics. I can see myself continuing to be entertained. I mean, the big enemy of games like this is just the repetitive formula. And so if they keep dropping new fun and overpowered stuff for me to use while I wipe out uh, Eldritch monsters, then hell, I've got no complaint. That sounds pretty rad to me. Uh, with Aether Disc, we'll go ahead and finish them off. It seems like we have some amount of spawning going on somewhere. Down came the rain. Oh, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. I was trying to, I was like, wait, is that, what is that a reference to? I haven't sung the Itsy Bitsy Spider since I was like 10. So like, and even then, that was probably the last time I sang it and probably to my little sister. Uh, let's go over here. Uh-oh, no. Uh, get Nova. Yes, perfect. A little bit of health out right there, but that's okay. Um, I don't know if I want to summon the mech or not. I mean, the enemies aren't really piling up that much, and I feel like the mech is more of an oh shit button. Okay, so there we go. Now it's time for the oh shit button. Walk across them, hit them with the nukes. ba wow And that's how we take care of business, kids. That's how we take care of business out here in Tesla land. 
Oh man, there's still more spiders to kill? Dude, we are going through sizable portions. I also like the way that the game keeps track of the amount of enemies of each type that you kill. So that as you get further into the game, you can be like, damn, dude, I've killed 52,000 of those things? That's a lot of enemies that I've killed. That's Nova right there. I tried to use it, but I failed. I failed miserably. I don't think those can be effectively hurt unless they're standing up. It looks like when they're down on the ground, they're either a smaller target or your bullets have a chance to be dodged. Although I don't know for certain, but that seems like what I'm witnessing right now. XP doubler right there. It probably behooves me to shoot then. Uh, I didn't level up like this entire time, so let's go weapon fire rate. Uh, weapon fire rate. Weapon damage. Oh, there it is. Get him, Tesla. Get him. Can't nobody stop the electrical power. Yup, a little bit of shocking action in right there. We are the literal thunder god. Not the metaphorical one. Not the mythological one. The literal one. And just keep shooting. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Although, technically, I assume I could stand around and just, like, farm those things and get my kills up. But they're called Awakeners. Apparently, it's a guy with a crab on his head. Never underestimate the power of people who have attached crustaceans to their dome. I will see you all later. This game is called Tesla vs. Lovecraft. If you wanted to get the game, I got a link for you down below. Just kind of a fun little one-off episode that I figured I'd throw out there because the premise of the game was so goofy. Uh, if you wanted to support me, the easiest way to do that is just to hit the like button on this video. Aside from that, I go live every single day on Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming, so if you wanted to hang out for a little while and talk to me in person, you can do that, and it'll be a pretty good time. I can almost promise you that. Later, everybody. I'll see you next time.